Creating share buttons just means that when your users are trying to share what they find in your website, it's going to be very comfortable. For example, your users can share a post if you run a social media company, if you, if you're, if you, maybe you press a blog, your users can show, share a topic, they can share anything within and outside the application. <laughs> but on the, but right here, we're just going to focus on how to share things via email, WhatsApp, and Twitter. So I want to say shout out to my friend Shiku. I got this tutorial. She wrote this tutorial before now, and I'm just, you know, turning it into a video tutorial. Very amazing person. So um, to do that, I'm going to open another. So I'm gonna, just going to take this away, uh, leave it with this layout, and I'll go back to our database and click on option set. So you can do this without an option set, but it's just, it just makes life super easy for you. So I'm gonna say, share. So that's what I'm gonna call it. And for the first option, I'm going to say link. And I'm gonna say image. Yeah, I'm just gonna say image link. Uh, okay, now we'll delete this. So I'm, I'm just going to add new attribute, new attribute. I'm going to say image, and this will be an image. And the next attribute, I'll say a link, and this will be a test. And then I'll just add a new option. First option will be WhatsApp. Second option will be <coughs> mail and third option will be Twitter. And then I will just going to, uh, I'll click on the first one that says modify attribute. I modify it. Okay, so I'm gonna add the WhatsApp image now. I think it's in my download folder. And for the link, you will find the link beneath this video. So it's right here. You're just gonna find it. This link is where you're going to copy to the link. You find it beneath the video here. So I'm gonna say save as the first one. And for email, modify attribute, add the image, I'm going to add the icon, this is it, and for the link, um, it's just going to be Mato with a hyphen, that's it, and the last one is Twitter, I'm going to modify attribute for Twitter, Twitter logo, PNG, I'm going to choose this one, and the link, I'll ju I'm just going to copy the link from here, like so. Be here, say save. So once you're done, once you're done with that, that's um, you know almost you're almost done with this. So once you're done with this, we're just gonna create a container in here, create a group in here, uh, put it in the uh, put a group in the middle. Put a group in the middle of the part. I just I'm just gonna make it a row like so. Uh, put everything in the middle of this row. And I'll turn this into a different color, so it just makes sense. Turn it into a red, 20%. And this, I turn it into a different color, flat color. And so it just makes sense. And then I put a repeating group inside of it. So this is a repeating group, and I'm going to make it one row by three columns, one row by three columns, and just put everything in the middle, put it in the middle like so. So this is where we're going to have the WhatsApp, email, you know, tons of other stuff. And this can also be a pop-up, so you can change this into a pop-up, so you can just um, replace element type and make it a pop-up. So the reason why you want to make it a pop-up is that when a user clicks share, you just want to show that particular pop-up, that's all. You just want to show this pop-up when you click on share and then you can add a material icon on top of it you can add a material icon on top of it like the close icon right there and we can put uh we can put some sort of a padding around it uh around so this we're just going to turn this into a column um make last this take it to the left so this will close it and the other one will open it so that gap space in between the element 20 
So this will open, this will close it. So in here we'll put an image and this will be the image of the, so just be the image of the, you know, image of the, of the social media, the image of the social media um, icon. So that's what it's gonna be. So put it in the middle. So uh, for the for the repeating group, let's just go to appearance, the type of content we would say social share and we would say get an option. We would say and uh, do a search for, we can use do a search for, we can use get an option. Most of them work or we can just say all social share, that's fine. And this is gonna be a dynamic image and it's going to be current sales social share image that is going to be and then we can then put a test at the bottom of it right here and this is going to be the current social share display so this is just going to be the name and then we can put everything in the middle that's just going to be the name we can put it we can put it in the middle so then for this let's just go ahead and put some sort of a we can put it in the middle let's just wrap everything inside the container so i'm just going to group elements in a column container put it in the so i'll group it in the column container so put, put it in the middle pull this in the middle also put this in the middle so remember we have a container in here so i'm going to go back to group social share yeah, this group should just share. I'm just gonna give it some sort of a spacing between both of them. So that's that's the only thing that I'll do. So if we let's look for something that will trigger this pop up right there. Um, put the bot in here. So this will just um, share. So this will share, and when it shares, what happens? Click on the start. Click here show so just say show pop up so it's going to show an element and then it's going to show pop up a yeah that's it so if we go ahead and preview this we should be making some level of progress and it should show the pop up so you can see it's showing it and when we click on this it should close the pop up so i'm pretty sure that's that's pretty easy for you to do um, if you're just getting started with Bubble, feel free to go check out my Bubble tutorial on my Bubble Beginner's Guide. It's super cool. It's on the, it's free. Just go ahead and check it up on YouTube. And you've, if you've not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. So now that we have this, so we want it that when a user click on WhatsApp, click on WhatsApp, you just want them to share. When you click on email, you want them to share via email. When you click on Twitter, you want them to share via Twitter. So we're going to, you know, we're just going to put it here. We're going to put, click on this, click on this icon and say start workflow. So when that social share is clicked, so we would say navigate to go open an external website and the destination will be current share social share link. Yeah, that will be the navigation. And then we can add an arbitrary test. So this is just going to be a normal test that's not coming from your database or might be coming from your database. But it's just called an arbitrary test. And then it's going to be share this on your account. Or it could be something like read our latest post from our blog. So we're just gonna say that, but this will only happen when the current social share display is WhatsApp. So the reason why you're doing this is that you might really want to share based on setting criteria. So if we go back to our, uh, our uh, option sets, you can see WhatsApp, mail, and Twitter. So you might want to share based on some setting criteria. So we're just going to, I'm just going to duplicate this. Copy, I'm just going to paste it. Paste it. 
paste it so this will happen if the share if if i click on the mail if it's mail that's what will happen and this here will happen if it is email if it's email so if this is email if if this is okay this is twitter twitter so I got it got the spelling correct. So this is mail and this is WhatsApp. So for the email, it's going to be a bit different. For the email, it's going to be current social cell link. The arbitrary test is not it's going to be a bit different. So this is supposed to go to an email. This is supposed to open an email address. So this is going to be like current user's email. Or if it's a post current post email, you know, anything, anywhere you call in the email, the email from current user email that's what it's going to be uh, so that you can actually send message to that particular email so that you can actually uh, get that email from so you can actually get the email but this is the this is what you use so i'm going to drop in the in the description so you can find it and i'm going to show you how to use it too so let's just refresh this and see what happens say share click on email so you can see we have email open click on twitter I'm sure we're going to have Twitter open so you can see we have Twitter open right there. Then click on what's the next one? Let's just go back. Click here, click on WhatsApp. Okay, WhatsApp it's not open. So let's click. So that this means that the spelling it's not really correct. So let's see, we spell WhatsApp like this. Uh, let's go back to, so I think the spelling is not correct, probably the tie. It's not working. So let's go back to our workflow. Just paste that one in. So refresh here. Just going to refresh and, well, what's up? It's not working. So let's go back to see our link. So this is supposed to be WhatsApp send test equals to. So let's go back here. Data, option set, modify attribute. Yeah, WhatsApp send test equals to. So this is supposed to work very well. So I'm just gonna click save, go back again. Go back to my workflow, click on WhatsApp. What should be shared? Okay, let's change what should be shared to so um, let's say current user full name. But this is supposed to work very well. Okay. Okay. So um, this is not this is not working like the way I want it to work. So I'm just going to inspect to see what's happening when I click on it. Data source is WhatsApp. Current is share. It's WhatsApp, okay. So I can't really tell why it's not working now, but um, if I, when I find something, when I find a reason why it's not, I'm going to publish it or probably leave it in the comment section but uh, i think you can go ahead and play with mail and twitter and if you happen to find a reason why this is not really working feel free to you know leave the answer there and i'll do well to you know update my brain i guess thank you so much for watching have yourself a beautiful bubble day ahead